friends, I just realized that it looks like I have the same outfit on that I did the video before the last video that I filmed, but I don't. It's even a different shirt. I know it looks like the same shirt, but it's not. The last one was a Johnny Cash shirt. This is just some random ass shirt I got at Express. Anyways, you may or may not have noticed that my hair's a little lighter and my brows look real dark. I am in an experimental, we'll call it, stage with my hair right now. I wanna play with it and do things with it and that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do things and stuff, balayage things and stuff, and it's not going too well. So I tried, I thought, I'll do my roots first. I kinda want like the whole, you know, Pinteresty shadow root balayage. You know, when you search shadow root balayage on Pinterest and like all the pretty girls pop up and they got amazing hair and you just want that hair but you can't get it. That's what I want, so I'm gonna try to get it on my own so I don't get mad at anybody who can't get it for me. So, if I fuck it up, it's my fault. L'Oreal Pro Glow, BT Dubs. Anyways, is my, are my fingers shrinking or am I just really cold? My rings are like too big. Um, so, what I did was I went to the Cosmoprof. I told all you guys this on Snapchat, but from my YouTube friends, that aren't my Snapchat friends, that don't watch me on Snapchat. I was already primed with this too. Um, Becca, first light, priming, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for all my YouTube friends that aren't my Snapchat friends, you may not know that I have a friend who has a cosmetology license and she took me to the place where no unlicensed person is allowed, Cosmoprof. So I went into the Cosmoprof and I was like, I'm gonna get some hair dye, I'm gonna dye my roots, I'm gonna bleach my ends, and I'm gonna look like fucking Pinterest. So we're walking through Cosmoprof and I knew in my head what I wanted. I wanted Guy Tang things because I'm a huge fan of Guy Tang. I watch Guy Tang's everything. I always watch his videos and I'm basically a professional now because I've watched like 32 Guy Tang videos, right? So I'm going through the Cosmoprof and I'm like asking questions like I'm fucking professional and shit. I know, stylists, I know, I got it, I gotcha. I know you're cringing, I get it. I'll probably get comments like, bitch don't touch your own hair, you need to go to a stylist. I know this, I have lots of friends who are in the stylist category who are stylists and they probably hate me right now because if I fuck it up, they're the ones that are gonna fix it. I'm walking around the Cosmoprof and I'm looking for all the Guy Tang shit and I can't find it anywhere. His stuff is usually by the Kenner stuff, so I went by the Kenner stuff, it wasn't by the Kenner stuff. Um, so I went over and was like, oh, I heard Swartzkopf is a really good color line. So I got this whole basket full of Swartzkopf everything. And then we go down this one aisle, which was the supplies aisle, which I was not expecting for it to be in the supplies aisle, but it was. Cause it's usually by Kenner and Kenner is like in another aisle. So I go down the supplies aisle and there it is, all the guy tang things. And I was like, oh my God, here we are. So I get some color. I get this ash color from my roots, like a level eight for those of you who aren't stylists out there. I get a level eight for my color. So to put it in perspective for people who aren't stylists, a level eight. So a level or so, like a really light, light blonde is like a level 11 or a 10. Uh, like a golden blonde would be like a level nine. So level eight, I mean, depending on the undertone, I mean, it doesn't have to be a golden blonde, but uh, so a level eight. <coughs> I have this thing in my throat today. Jesus, you know when you got that like tickle in your throat and like every time you breathe in, you just have to cough. It just feels like somebody's taking a little stick pin and kick, kick, kick right on the back of your throat every time you breathe in and it's not pleasurable. So I'll be coughing a lot, I'll be coughing a lot. I'm not even sick because I don't get sick. I'm that person that doesn't get sick, but I got this little tickle on my throat and it's driving me crazy before, that's probably why my eyes look all red, like I look like I smoked a fucking ounce of weed, because right before I started to film, I coughed a lot and I couldn't stop coughing and I drank lots of water and it still didn't help. Back to what I was saying, um, so I see all the guy tank stuff, I get an eight, and I'm thinking, I'm gonna do this badass like shadow room and then I'm gonna balayage, it's gonna look all fucking dope and profesh. So then I went home and dyed my hair, and for whatever reason, the color will not cover all the grays that I have in my fucking apparently 90-year-old hair. Do you guys see 
all this oh my god there's so much there's so much especially this side like my god I'm not even 40 yet and it's just all like the highlights of the grays it looks like I intentionally highlighted gray through my hair that's how much gray is in my hair thanks mom for the jeans anyways which oddly enough my grandma never had gray hair like she had like very few gray hairs up until the day she died she had like really chocolatey brown hair and like no fucking gray hair so like why didn't I get that jean so I deposit no gray coverage so my friend tells me you need to get an NN an ANN and mix a little bit of it with your AA because I was using an AA which means ashy so she says get a little bit of ANN which N is neutral and the double N means gray coverage so I was like cool and she's like that'll work faux show so I was like cool so this whole process has started on today is Thursday it has started on Tuesday so Kylie Jenner concealer shout out to Kylie Jenner is something I've never said in my whole life um I really like this concealer though you guys did you watch my review on it it looks like I'm doing the review right now because it looks like I'm wearing the same shit but I'm really not I promise but she's like get a double N great coverage do all the things it'll work you'll be good to go then you can throw the bleach on the bottom of your hair so I'm like all right cool I'm down for that so I go which by the way, my friend had to work and have like things and stuff to do, so I couldn't go back to Cosmoprof. I hate using the same, or I hate using different hair dye with different developer because if you guys remember early on in the video how I stated that I am an avid watcher of the guy Tang, he did this test one time using different developers with different dyes. Like say you're using a guy Tang dye and you use like a Schwarzkopf developer, it's not going to come out the color that it says on the swatch, you know what I'm saying? So because they do different things and stuff, I don't know. I didn't go to hair school. so. I don't like doing like different developers with different dyes ever since I watched that video. Even though this is like the first time I've done my own hair in quite a few years. Since I had red hair, this is the first time I've done my own hair. So, um, I had no choice though because my friend was busy and couldn't take me to the Cosmoprof. I know quite a few stylists, but they were all busy and stuff and I didn't want to bother anybody. Like, yo, can you stop everything you're doing right now and take me to Cosmoprof? Thanks, Veronica. So I had to go to Sally's and to be honest with you guys, I don't really care for the Sally dye because I feel like it's like essentially just box dye and I really don't care for box dye either. Uh, but I found out that Sally's, because I haven't bought dye at Sally's for fucking ever, I found out that Sally's carries Wella, which is a pretty decent brand, in dye now. Um, they carry Wella now, so I was like, okay, let me try out this fucking Wella. So I get the Wella ANN. Is this interesting at all? It's probably not, but sorry, not sorry. This is just what what I've been doing the last couple days, and this is what I do when I get ready with me. I t <coughs> <coughs> Damn, that tickle in my throat. This is what I do when I do the get ready with me is um, tell you guys what is going on with myself. So, um... Where was I? Oh yeah, so I go to Sally's and I get the well of dye and I mix it in and I'm like, fuck yes, this is the night we're gonna do bleach. Well, what happened was I put it on my hair and nothing happened and obviously I still look like I'm 90 years old because I got, oh, do you got, oh my God, it looks so prominent <laughs> on camera. Like a real fucking prominent. Look at all that, Jesus. Anyways, um, so don't you guys think my hair looks like so healthy right now? Maybe not the bottom so much because I put like a texture spray in it, kind of frizzed it out a little bit, but I have been using that Pureology shampoo that I got, um, for Christmas or did I buy that for Christmas or did I buy it for myself? I'm pretty sure I bought that for myself. I think it was in some sort of haul, like Ulta haul. That's what it was in. It's so good. Pureology Hydrate Line. I feel like every time I use it, my hair just gets better and better and better. Um, it's not like gross and like split endy looking. It actually has like shine to it. I'm like, oh my God, I will use this until the day I die because it's amazing. God damn it. I got off track. Now I forget what I was talking about. What, what was I talking about? I used the dye. It didn't cover the gray. 
Did I say already that I dyed it again? If I didn't, I did. I may have said that already, but if I didn't, I did. I dyed it again. Oh, did I mention too, I put a color remover in my hair. That's why it's lighter. Why did I forget that? I totally forgot that. Uh, I put a color remover in my hair from the get-go, which is how it got a little bit lighter because I still had some hair dye in there from, because my roots are literally like this long. So it was like roots, a little bit dark, a little bit hair dye, lighter. So I went ahead and put color remover in it to get rid of that little like band of darkness there. What am I looking for? I'm looking for highlighter. I'm gonna use Ofra today, the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. So anyways, um, so that happened and then rewind, backtrack before all that, pretend like that, I didn't say that, and then pretend like I said, I put a color remover on my hair before I did anything and then remember all that stuff, now we're here, which is, I dyed my hair again and it still didn't fucking cover my gray. So I was using a 20 volume developer and my friend had gotten a hold of her friend and she was like, try using a 10, that should work. So I don't have a 10, so today I'm gonna go out and get a 10 um, and I'm probably gonna have to buy Wella developer because I have Wella color, so that's a thing. And Tim, is like, what the actual fuck is your malfunction? Like, do you like fucking your shit up? Is that is that what it is? I was like, no, but here's the thing. I wanna get tape-ins, but I wanna lighten my hair. Butter bronzer, Physicians Formula. I wanna get tape-ins, but I wanna lighten my hair so I don't wanna get the same tape-ins I usually get and then have to dye them and they're probably already pre-dyed if they're lightened. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. I don't want my tape-ins to get all crusty and me not be able to use them very much that's where I'm going with the whole hair thing. That's what's up, so we'll see. The next time you guys see me, I may or may not have a different hair color. Let's hope it ends up good. Cross your fingers for me, pray for me, do the things that you do in hopes that my hair doesn't fall out. Cool. Anyways, so what's up? That is what I've been doing <laughs> for the past couple of days. What do you guys been doing? Happy New Year! It's New Year's. It's 2018. Are you guys still writing like 2017 on your shit? Because I sure the fuck am. I can't get over the fact that 2017 blew by so fucking fast. It was insanity, girl. Insanity. Um, 2017 was like not the best year. Like I remember New Year's of 2017 saying, oh my God, fucking 2017 is going to kill. It's going to be the best year ever. And it, it was okay. I'm very grateful for like everything I have and do and say and all the things. Max off, or wait, what? My dog better not have pooped. He's got the farts lately. He's got gas and sometimes it smells like he poops. And I'm like, dude, god damn, that's, that is strong, bruh, strong. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I've had a lot of caffeine today, can you tell? I took a five hour energy shot. <laughs> shocker, shocker. Anyways, what was I talking about? 2017 being semi-awesome. I'm gonna use this. No, no. I'm going to use the Prism palette because I think I've used that a couple of times. I feel like it's been a minute since I did a Get Ready With Me. Has it been a minute since I did a Get Ready With Me? I don't remember. Okay, going into Unity. Anyways, um, 2017, ooh, <laughs> I'm already primed and all that junk. Look, I have this like line on my brows. Can you see it? Uh, 2017 was... A good year it was a, a actually it was a pretty awesome year uh, we did a lot of things and family wise it was super super awesome um, but like mentally not so awesome but I feel like 2018 is gonna be like the reign of Nikki like this is gonna be my shit I don't know about you guys but for some reason whenever like New Year's comes I'm like I'm gonna do all the things this is gonna be my year I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that. This actually 2017 was the year that I discovered The Secret and started following The Secret and I've kind of fell off The Secret bandwagon a little bit and I'm not super happy about it. This is Eden, by the way. Um, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll just do the look that I had on in my second to last video. That's what I'll do. Um, 
what was I saying? Oh yeah, 2017 was the year that I discovered uh, The Secret and started doing the power of positive thinking. But I think I'm gonna start doing that again this year because I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon a little bit. I've been in the most absolute negative headspace over like the past two or three months and I'm just ready to get out of a girl and I'll feel good now. So I'm ready for it. It's coming, it's here, it's me. New year, new me. Hashtag New Year's. Hashtag New Year, new me. Hashtag I can't think of anything else, but had I thought of something, it would have been really fucking cool. New Year's hashtag thing. So, New Year, new me. I'm gonna do all the things this year. I am filming a video of my New Year's resolutions and I have a lot of them. I'm gonna take that color and like do it like this, like all the Instagram girls do. New year, new me. I have so many resolutions and I'm totally gonna stick to them this year. I'm gonna be like one of those organized ass bitches. I'm gonna do all the things and stuff. I'm gonna get a planner this year and actually use it. Remember last year at the beginning of the year? Or was that 2016? Might have been 2016, but I remember buying a planner at the beginning of the year and then <laughs> being like, I'm gonna do so much with this planner. I'm gonna plan my life out. I literally wrote in it one time and then it sat up in my makeup room for the duration of 2017 or 2016, whichever year it was I bought it. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Saturn. Um, yeah, so. That is what's going on with me. What's going on with y'all? Oh yeah, I also did not tell the YouTube's family. I told the Snapchat family, which by the way, if you were wondering, I am back on the Snushat. Uh, I took a little break from the Snushat for a little bit. I've been really fucking lazy, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna put it out there, put it for the world to hear, and be an honest bitch. I'm not gonna make excuses. Hashtag New Year's resolution number 762. No more excuses. I have been so lazy with comments, like getting back at comments, answering Snapchats, she like that. So New Year's resolution number 762, we're gonna get on it this year. We're gonna be the fucking YouTuber that we were meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can't be like a real YouTuber because I don't live in LA or New York or anything like that, but I'll be like that Midwest bitch, like Stephanie Leda, and do things and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna have a plan though. I promise you guys, I am. Now what do I want to do with my eyeballs? Let's do some lower lash line shit because I'm not sure what I wanna put on my lid yet. Because as I said, oh, did I interrupt myself? I interrupted myself like I normally do and then I totally forgot about what I was talking about. I have not told the YouTube's family, but I did tell the Snapchat family that we are going to look at a house today. So here's the dilly. This is just Eden, by the way. So the dilly is that there's this house. My realtor moved to Tennessee, okay? She moved to Tennessee and we haven't heard from her for a long time. Although there hasn't been any houses available in our area in a long time like literally shit nothing nothing shit in our school district and we want to stay in our school district even though we take aiden to school any funky ways and tim just lives like a couple blocks away from his school i don't know why we have to stay in the school district but that's what we did that's what we wanted we want to be in the school district so um we're trying to stay in our school district we haven't talked to a realtor in a while our realtor text him or calls him yesterday or the day before day before yesterday i believe it was and says yo there's this house on foreclosure that just went up for foreclosure and it's one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and it's like a hundred and eighty thousand dollar house so we were like oh okay she said the house is probably pretty fucked up seeing as how it's in foreclosure the people who were living in it before it took the bank like six months to get them out of that house so she said, <coughs> there's that shit again. So sorry, it's driving me freaking nuts. It's like when I take a deep breath in, ooh, <coughs> I can feel it and it's, it's hurting my throat now because I'm coughing so much. As I was saying, where even was I? Because I just had the biggest coughing fit of my entire life. I don't know where I was or what the fuck I was doing. What is going on right now? Um, what was I saying? What was I even gonna do with my face? What was I gonna do with my face? 
I don't remember. I just like had this huge coughing spasm. I was like, <laughs> anyways, um, I think what I said was, oh yes, our realtor called us, said it took like six months to get the people out. The house is probably not in the best condition, but because it's a foreclosure, you can get like, if the house is $120,000, you can get a loan from the bank, like a house loan for extra money on top of that in order to restore the house. So what we're thinking, because we looked at the pictures of the house and we're thinking like, we don't really like the house basically is what's going down. Um, we don't really care for the house. I think I'm gonna take Lucid. Let's do Lucid on the lid, shall we? We shall. So we looked at the house. We don't really like the layout of the house because it's two stories and we want a one story ranch and yada, yada, yada. Um, so what we're thinking about doing because we can get it for so cheap is buying the house and then getting money for a loan that's more than the house and then doing things and stuff to the house and then flipping the house and then selling the house and then buying our house. Know what I'm saying? That's what we're thinking about doing. But um, Tim had to like text our realtor yesterday because uh, he was like, I swear to God, we looked at this house already. I think this was, he thought it was the very first house we ever looked at. He's like, I swear we looked at this house. I had a teacher that lived there. It was the very first house we ever looked at. I know we looked at it. He texted the realtor. She said, no, it's not the same house. Um, but in that text, she told him, if you guys want this house, you are going to have to put an offer in today because there's literally like a line of people. I just spit all over the fucking place. <laughs> There's literally like a line of people stacked up waiting on this house. So I'm like, oh, fucking awesome. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm a little nervous and scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared about what's gonna happen because I don't wanna jump into something that like we really don't want just because we're like under like some kind of hellacious time crunch, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're just gonna go look at it and, you know, see what happens, see what happens. If fate happens to fucking fall in our laps, then we will see. What we wanna do is make sure, like I got a list of questions that we wanna ask, like when was the last time it got a new roof? When did it, something about the water heater, something about, you know, the furnace and, you know, all those like adult questions that you ask about houses and shit that I know nothing about because I've never owned my own house. But those of you who have, maybe you know something about that, because I sure the fuck don't. But uh, we're just going to look at it just for shits and gigs, just to see. Our realtor was like, there might even be people there. Like, while you guys are looking at the house, we're like, ee, oh my God, what are we going to do? So now we're like, uh, 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 what's going to happen? What are we going to do? This is crazy. So I don't know. Something will happen. Fate, I'm gonna leave it in the hands of fate. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and we'll get the house. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, we'll get the house. That's what's up, that is my motto. For the year 2018, new year, new me. Shit will do what shit's supposed to. That's my motto. So, super exciting start to the new year, is it not? I'm gonna tight line my eyes real quick. Um, if I can find my eyeliner, New Year's resolution number 612, clean. Just clean, clean my stuff off. Just clean, organize, clean. My fucking makeup room is a disaster right now. It's a little, you hear, hear that? Can you hear that? That's what my desk looks like and sounds like. Can you get an idea of what it looks like from this? Well, hopefully you can. Actually, I'm not gonna do eyeliner yet. I forgot to do the little green shit that I did in my other video up on my inner corner that's what i was missing i kept looking at myself thinking what the fuck am i missing right now that's exactly what i was missing where is my stuff again i'm gonna go into sphere and brighten up my inner corner a little bit a little bit trying to decide whether or not i want to do wing liner i mean the lashes that i use are like flary lashes but i don't you know, I'm not gonna do wing liner because I, I, I'm going to look at a house. I'm not going to a YouTube event. So we're just gonna keep this as toned down as we can keep it because the realtor I'm going to see doesn't know me. My realtor knows me, so she knows I look like I'm going to fucking prom or like YouTube events every day, but 
the new realtor does not so we don't want to scare her but i am going to put some white eyeliner in my waterline all right so i'm going to pop on some lashes i don't think i'm going to do wing liner i'm not going to do wing liner i'm not no i kind of want to do wing liner but i'm not going to okay so putting lashes on Lashes I'm using are Ardell number 45s. I have these lashes that I just bought from Walmart downstairs because they were out of the lashes that I usually get, which is Sally Hansen 615s or the 614s. They were out of those, so I got these crazy ones. Should I go get them? I think I'm gonna go get them. Hold on. Before I show the lashes, I actually had an idea to kind of break up some of that white because I seen this sitting over there, the Jean-Michael Basquiat anatomy pencil. Fucking insurance. My sharpener is like super hella dull and it fucks up my pencils every time I sharpen it. Or maybe it's just those LA girl pencils. I cannot get those things to sharpen for the fucking life of me. Hold on, let me sharpen it. Of course it would be dull. Hey, I, I sharpen it a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this and put it on my lower lash line cause it really matches this uh, orange color I got going on here. Can you guys even see what the fuck I'm doing? This is just to get ready with me as per usual and then i'm going to grab the brush that i had that color on in case you guys are curious these are just glue eyes i still glint. these are just glints i just said that really fucking weird didn't i these are just glue ons i still have yet to get my fucking nails done still have yet to do it still i feel like my life has been so busy lately it's been crazy okay the lashes are these Eileen 88143. Twinning is winning. Two can play at this game. Jesus, there's so many phrases on here. I don't know what they are. They look like a disto. I got them at Wally World. And they're like real spanky and cute. So I'm trying to put these bitches on. So let me throw these bitches on and I will be RB. Okie dokie. Lashes are on. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them. Like I like what they look like but i feel like they're so short like i'm used to wearing like lashes that fucking go like to the middle of my eyebrows and these ones are like the size of my own lashes so i'm not sure i'm feeling on them yet just saying okay so uh I, I don't i don't know where i was or what i was talking about or anything like that i think i'm gonna use one of these little nyx things but I feel like I want something darker than that on the lips. What do we want to do? Let's see what this one looks like. This is Fair Play, the next holographic, no, duo chromatic lip gloss. What's this one look like? Mm, mm, I don't know. You know what I should do? Maybe I should take this eyeliner and like do some things and stuff just saying fun fact i don't know if you guys knew this or not but urban decay eyeliners are the exact same formula as their lip liners just saying so i'm just gonna take this basquiat liner and like fuck some shit up and see what we come up with yeah yeah i just gonna put a little bit a little bit like this a little bit like this just gonna dot it on there Ooh, I fucking like that. Then we're gonna put this on top. By the way, uh, I use fucking eyeliners with liner all the time. So like, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, I'm done getting ready now. I'm all done. So this is all I'm gonna do to my face. Uh, I am gonna go. I'm gonna film my 17 favorites of 2017. And I, what is today? I don't know, because I think I'm going to do the favorites first, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to film it or not, so we'll see, huh? Won't we? Yes, we will. So I'm going to go ahead and go then, for real this time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, most of the time. I'm getting back on it now. Getting back on it. We're going to do it. 2017, I mean 18, 2018, new year, new me, new, not, I was going to say new uploading schedule, but it's, it's not a new uploading schedule. It's the same one I've had for the past few months. Okay, this time for real, this time for real. Follow me on all my social media here, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Crikey, she almost went down, she almost went down.
shit like literally the hardest thing of life to open.